This is an interstellar travel ship. The passengers have all gone into hibernation, expected to reach the alien colony in 120 years, four months before arrival. The passengers will be awakened early. Jim wakes up and tidies up, only to find the entire ship empty. The artificial intelligence reminds him he had 90 years to go before he reached his destination. Jim panicked. He would never get there alive. He immediately sends a distress call to Earth Command, but the AI reminded him that the message will reach Earth in 19 years. It would be 55 years before he received a reply. This didn't help at all. He was charged for $40 million to send a message. Good thing Jim's a mechanical engineer. It's a piece of cake to fix a hibernation module. After a bit of work, he lies down in it, trying to restart it. He almost suffocated himself. He made his way to the captain's cabin, but his clearance was too low to get in. He used all kinds of tools, but couldn't open the hatch. The only person on the ship he can talk to is the robot bartender. The bartender advised him to get a grip on reality and let himself go. Jim heard the logic. He doesn't even want his own little dorm room. He pried open the luxury suite and moved in. The menu has been upgraded to Japanese and French cuisine basketball, movies, and dancing all on the menu, and no work, except for the breakfast upgrade, it's so much better than on earth, but no matter how much he enjoyed it, he was the only one alive on the ship, once the novelty was over, Jim got depressed again, he didn't even shave, it was too boring to be alone, he had a floor sweeper as a pet, desperate, Jim found an astronaut suit, the universe was so big, he wanted to see it, living on earth, Jim has never seen anything like it, he had never seen anything like it in his life, but the more he drifted through space, the more he felt that living alone was pointless, back on the ship, Jim took off his suit, he he wanted to end his life, to make this vast universe his tomb. In the end, he got scared, trying like mad to escape from the idea of killing himself, but he accidentally stepped on a bottle of wine. He almost suffered a concussion, and that's when he looked up. He was attracted to a beautiful woman. This woman, in order to write her book, she decided to take a 120-year hiatus, arrive at an alien colony for a year and then, and then sleep for another 120 years and return to Earth. After more than a year of loneliness on the ship, Jim, after meeting Lola, he had a renewed desire to live on. He even tried to wake her up to give him company. The bartender advises him not to be impulsive, but he'd been alone too long. There were still 89 years to go before he reached his destination. The truth was that he had lost his mind. Finally, he decided to use his engineer skills to his advantage. After some manipulation, Lola's hibernation chamber was opened. Lola woke up, just like Jim at the time. He started looking for the others. Jim pretended to meet them by chance, and told her that they had all been awakened early, when she found out it would be 89 years before she reached her destination. Just as devastated as Jim was back then, once she saw how Lola looked, Jim didn't dare to tell the truth either. Lola was still not sure. Jim had to show her what he'd tried before. Nothing worked, asked the AI, but there was an error in the system. The two of them had to go to breakfast first. Jim had cereal for a year, and then he found out there was a deluxe package. Seeing what Jim had had for breakfast. Lola was generous enough to give Jim one too. As time went on, Lola began to accept the reality of the situation. Jim took her everywhere, the activities that she had previously only been able to do on her own. Now he had company too. The two of them spent a lot of time together. They began to have a relationship. They started dating. Jim decided to tell Lola how he felt. It was Lola's birthday. Jim took her out of the ship. We walked together through a river of stars and saw the stars pass by together. The bartender was so happy to see Lola that day. He accidentally told her that Jim had woken her up. Jim was about to pose. When he saw the look on Lola's face, he knew he'd been betrayed by the robot. Lola was devastated. She thinks Jim has ruined her life. Lola came to Jim's room late at night. She beat up Jim, who was asleep. The defeated Jim was too scared to fight back. A radio confession didn't work. The two of them don't see each other again. He's back to a life of loneliness. Due to the impact of a meteorite, the ship breaks down again. Jim is almost trapped in the lift. Lola is also sprayed with cereal. They rush to the lobby. There is a third living person. He is the captain of the starship. The hibernation module has been awakened early due to the malfunction. They were awakened early. They made their way to the captain's cabin. The door that Jim couldn't pry open before. The captain swiped his card and got in. Only then did they discover that the ship was badly damaged. Even the self-diagnostic system was not working. They had to check it manually. However, there were too many faults. There was nothing the captain could do. Lola, who had trouble sleeping at night. She went swimming in the pool, but the ship broke down again. The ship loses gravity. She was trapped in a ball of water and nearly drowned, but the system soon returns to normal. Lola was able to get out of the water. The ship's malfunction is getting worse. They had to find the source of the problem immediately, but then the captain collapsed. The medical bay diagnosed the problem. The captain's organs had failed. His organs had collapsed. It was affecting his life. The captain knew he couldn't go on. Before he died, he gave Jim his bracelet. He told them to make sure the ship was repaired. They made their way to the powerhouse. Jim opened the door with a jerk. Lola was sucked in. In the nick of time, Jim grabbed a fire extinguisher. A blast of liquid was directed at the hole in the ship. The solidified liquid temporarily blocked the hole. It was then that they realized the ship had been pierced by a meteorite two years before. The mainframe control system had also been pierced. Jim found spare parts for the mainframe, but the energy in the hull had built up. It couldn't be drained out. The vent holes had to be opened from outside to release the excess energy. Jim decided to open the vent manually. Only when he got outside did he realize he had to keep the button pressed to keep the vent open for the lives 
because of the 5,000 people on board, he held an iron plate to keep out the scorching heat. The tow rope eventually snapped. Jim was swept into space, and cracks appeared in the suit. Air began to leak. Lola rushed to his rescue, but the rope wasn't long enough. Just when the two thought they were doomed, Jim's tow rope floats by. Lola pulls on the rope and saves Jim. Jim was saved. The ship was repaired by them. Jim discovers that the medical bay can act as a hibernation bay. He told Lola to stay dormant until she reached her destination, but Lola refuses. After everything she'd been through, she just wanted to be with Jim. 88 years later, the ship arrived on time at the colony. The trees that Jim had planted had grown into a rainforest, and the humans had arrived on a new